The RGB image adjustment tools can be used with either RAW files or JPEGs and even TIFF files. The histogram that you see here is simulating the histogram of the finished processed file. This RGB button allows you to adjust your red, green, and blue curves together. Each channel can be adjusted independently with the R, G, or B buttons. In the Preferences of DPP, you can change the collective RGB button to Luminance and adjust just the brightness of the image without affecting the color. Clicking on the tone curve creates a point, and you can drag that point to the desired location. You can have up to eight points on a curve, and double-clicking on a point will remove it. Use the Reset button to return to your shot settings. Adjustments can be made to the shadow and highlight points by clicking and dragging the side edges of this box, or by entering a value in this box and in this one. Clicking and dragging the top and bottom edges of the box will decrease contrast, and you can enter a value in these boxes to set the minimum and maximum output. You can also adjust brightness and contrast with these sliders. If you're new to working with tone curves, try the Tone Curve Assist feature. This first button applies a standard amount of correction to the image, and this second button applies a higher degree of correction. Like most automatic features, it works well on many images, but not all. It's a good place to start if you're new to working with tone curves. Up here at the top right, you'll find an eyedropper. When you select this button and click on an area in the image, the color in the image is neutralized based on the area you clicked on. The three sliders at the bottom will let you adjust hue, saturation, and sharpness. If you're using these sliders and you've already made adjustments to the Raw Image Adjustment tab, the results are cumulative, so be careful not to overdo it.